Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn Class 6, Chapter 5, Fractions and Decimals, Exercise 5.4. See now first question, which of the following are unlike decimals? Let us see what are unlike decimals. Decimals having different number of decimal places are called as unlike decimals. See first sum 5.03. 6.185 here first number having two decimal places second number is having three decimal places both are having different decimal places so these both are unlike decimals see the second sum 42.7 7.42 first number is having one decimal place second number is having two decimal places so these both are having different decimal places so these both are called as unlike decimals see the third one now 16.003, 5.301. Here both numbers are having three decimal places. So they are called as like decimals. See fourth one, 15.81, 1.36. Here also both numbers are having two decimal places. That is equal decimal places. So these are called as like decimals. Therefore, unlike decimals in the given question are first one and second one. See now second question. Change the following into like decimal fractions. Like decimals means decimals having same number of decimal places. See the first sum now 0 0.802, 54.32, First and last decimal numbers having three decimal places and the second one is having only two decimal places. That's why we have to place a zero at last for the second decimal fraction. So let us convert them to like decimals now. Write down 0 0.802. 54.320, 873.274. See here all these three decimals are now like decimals having three decimal places. See now second sum, 4.789.193.11.3. Here three decimals are having different decimal places. To make them equal, we have to place zero. See here first one 4.780, 3 decimal places, second one 9.193, having 3 decimal places, third one 11.300. Here also we having 3 decimal places, therefore all these 3 are converted to like decimals. See the third sum now, 16.003, 16.9, 16.19. So write down the answer, 16. 003 16.900 16.190 Here all three decimal fractions were having three decimal places. So they are converted to like decimals now. See now third question. Write the following in ascending order. Ascending order means arranging the numbers from smallest to greatest. See the first question now. 7.26, 7.62, 7.2 let us make all decimal fractions as like decimals. So we must have equal number of decimal places. Here two decimals, here two decimals and only here one decimal. If we place a zero, it becomes now all are like decimals. Now let us arrange them in ascending order. That is lowest to greatest or highest. See here least one is 7.2. Next one 7.26. Then after 7.62. So this is our ascending order. See now question number B. 0 0.464, 0 0.644, 0 0.446, 0 0.664. First let us take 0 0.464, 0 0.446. We have to compare these two. So which one is smallest? 0 0.4, 0 0.4 same. Last two digits we must compare 46 and 64. So obviously this one is smallest. So write down. 0 0.446 then after 0 0.464 now we have to compare 0 0.644 0 0.664 here 10th place was same next we have to check 100th place 4 and 6 4 hundredths is less than 6 hundredths 0 0.644 0 0.664 so this is our ascending order See the last sum 
30.060, 30.30. Here also three decimals, three decimals, and last one is having only two decimal places. So let us place a zero here. Now all these are like decimals. Now let us compare them. Now all these three are like decimals. Let us write the smallest one that is 30.30. Then these two decimals when we compare, tens place, ones place was same. Tens place is zero and here tens place is three. Therefore, this is the smallest one. Thirty point zero six zero. Then after thirty point three zero. So this is our ascending order. See now question number four. Arrange these numbers in descending order. Descending order means arranging the numbers from greatest to smallest. First, we shall convert given decimal numbers to like decimals. 16.96, 16.42, 16.3 as 16.30. Next, 16.03, 16.1 as 16.10. Next, 16.99, 16.01. That means here all are having two decimal places. So, remaining numbers also be converted as two decimal places only. Now, we shall arrange them in descending order. 16.96, 16.9 and which one is greatest? 16.9 and is greatest. So, write down 16.99, then after 16.96, then after 16.42, 16.30, 16.10, 16.03 and 16.01. So, we have arranged the given decimals in descending order. See now question number 5. Fill in the blanks by using appropriate symbols greater than, less than or equal to. See the first sum 0 0.005, 0 0.0005. Here thousandth plus 5 is there. Here thousandth plus 0 is there. So, 5 thousandths is greater than 0 thousandths. So, write down here greater than symbol. See the second one, 4.353, 4.2. Here, 10th plus 3 is there. Here, 2 is there. 3 tenths is greater than 2 tenths. So, write down here, greater than symbol. See the third one now, 58.3, 58.30. Here, 10th plus is 3 and here also 10th plus is 3. These both are equivalent decimals. Therefore, put the equal to sign. Today, we have seen 5th chapter fractions and decimals exercise 5.4, 1 to 5 sums. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.